Okay, so we're going to change one sixth to a percent. Now, so the, the percent is something with that percent sign in it and all that. Now the problem is we've got to first turn it into a decimal, and then turn it into a percent. Because, like, I'll, I'll give something that that might be familiar. Like you might know that twenty zero point two five. That's like twenty five cents or a quarter. Um, you know, so one quarter, you might be familiar, that's 0 0.25 or 25%. So are you familiar with, with that? So, but, but to get, the, so we've got to go fraction, then decimal, and then we can get the percent, right? So change one sixth to a percent. One sixth, again, is one divided by six. So what we do is we divide, we go six into one, actually to get that as a decimal. And we can do long division, basically, right? Um, but it's hard to do 6 into 1. How about 6 into 1.0? Let's try that, right? Or you could put a whole bunch of zeros in a row. Um, so I'll just start with this. So 6 into 1.0 is kind of, we'll think of it as 6 into 10 goes one time. Um, in fact, we would be even better if we said 6 into 1 goes 0 times and bring this decimal point up here. And then 6 into 10 goes 1 time. And then it's 1 times 6 gives 6, and then we subtract. And now 10 minus 6 is 4. And that remainder is less than 6, so that's good. We're on the right track. But it looks like... We're, we should probably put a whole row of zeros here after the one, right? So we can use zeros to get our division goal. So I'm just going to put a bunch. may not need all that many, but we'll see what happens. So 6 into 4, we've got to take one of these zeros and bring it down and do 6 into 40. So I'll go 6 into 40. Try that. Yep, 6 is a good guess. 6 times 6 is 36, and then when I subtract, 40 minus 36 is 4. And and that's good, that's less than 6, and i got to bring one of these zeros down. And now I go 6 into 40, and that gives another 6. 6 times 6 is 36, subtract to get 4. Bring down another zero, and we can. Are we starting to see what's going to happen? All going to be six. It'll just keep going on. So, so you have to just keep going, keep going. Oh my goodness! So, what's the answer then? Because we just keep making more sixes, right? So, would you agree with me that it looks like one six equals zero point one? Six, 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 on and on and on forever. Does that make sense? Right. Um, yes and no. Good point. Well, um, let's see. Um, well, that's what it's 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 going to be. This never-ending decimal that goes on and on forever. We'll talk about that. Talk about that in a sec. But to turn it into a percent. We take this decimal point and move that over one, two spots to the right. So like just how we, I give an example of 0 0.25, to turn that into a percent, I take this decimal point and move it one, two spots to the right to make 25%. Here, just move that one, two spots to the right, and I get 16.666 on and on forever percent. Now, the only question is, how far do they want us to round it? Um, and let's say they wanted to round it to two decimal places. So they want to round it as far as this digit here. What would it look like then? Right, 16.6. And then if I want to round this, the digit after that is more than 5. It's 5 or more, which is 6, right? So we round up, and that becomes a 7. So round it to two decimal spaces as a percentage, that's 16.67%. Okay with that? Right. But some decimals do go on forever. 
uh, the, the, a famous one is one third. You know what one third is as a decimal? You ever seen that? All right. So if we went three into one point zero zero zero, three into ten goes three times, and three times nine is that. Subtract remainder one. Bring down a zero. Three into ten. Oh, by the way, three into one was zero. Bring up the decimal point. We got zero point three. Three into ten goes three times. Three times three is nine. Subtract, and we get. One, yeah, and bring down a zero. Three into ten goes three times, and so on. Right? So one third is equal to what as a decimal? Zero point. Right. Goes on forever. That actually can be written zero point three with a little bar over it. And by the way, our decimal here could have been written zero point one six with a little horizontal line over the six to that that that's math um, language for saying that the six goes on forever right and this is the math language way of saying the three goes on forever right so there you go one thing that I love to love to do to my kids is I love to say that I love to ask them this what zero point nine 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 forever do you know what that's equal to simplify that One. It's equal to the number one. It's not funny? No, I didn't round it. It's exactly equal to one. All right, so what's one, th one third? What's one third plus one third plus one third? Oh, that's definitely three thirds, isn't it? Or one. So you, you agree with that. But one third, by the way, is 0 0.3333, isn't it? And that one third is 0 0.3333, isn't it? And that one third is 0 0.3333, isn't it? Now what happens when I add these guys together? They become, well, add the zeros and you get zero. Add these threes and you get nine. Add these next threes and you get nine. Add these next threes and you get nine. Add these next threes and you get nine. That goes on forever. So 0 0.99999 forever is actually the same thing as 1, isn't it? Because they're all thirds, right? So there you go. Ask your family and friends that trick question. See if they can tell you what is 0 0.999 forever, and you can have a good debate. We've been having this debate for years in my family. Yeah, you can write that down, yeah.